Marseille missed the chance to extend their lead at the top. Monaco managing to go a fifth game unbeaten and a third straight win. That game when Carrasco made a brilliant dummy. Bernardo Silva's first goal in France since arriving in the summer. It was enough to seal the three points. Paris Saint-Germain missed the chance to replace Marseille at the top of the table. Jeremy Pied saw the French champions losing Gangon for the first time since 2003. That wasn't before their goalkeeper Jonas Lossel kept out. Zlatan Ibrahimovic with a terrific save. And the Swede only able to poke wide with the rebound. The first league defeat of the season for Laurent Blanc's men. 1-0 to Gangon. Great week for Gangong after qualifying to the next stage of the Europa League and now defeating Paris Saint-Germain. Well, Lyon once again looked to the league's top scorer as Alexander Lacazette scored from the spot for the second week running, this time giving the host the lead against Caen in the seventh minute. The 23-year-old equaled his tally for the whole of last season with this rising strike, his 15th of the season. Only Cristiano Ronaldo has been in more lethal form in Europe. Well, Leon pushed for more and finally found a third. Nabil Fekir for Yasin Benzia, meaning Leon just two points from the top. Well, little to shout about as Nice and Saint-Étienne played out a bore draw, but each side finished with 10 men. Ismail Diamond just back from suspension. Second yellow, and he was off once again. And Carlos Eduardo quickly followed him. Straight red for the Brazilian. Saint-Étienne unbeaten in eight. Kevin Mane Paquet couldn't find the net as Lever lost ground in the race for the podium. Well, three straight defeats had punctured Nantes' fine start to the season, but against Bordeaux, they hit the front after 23 minutes. Alejandro Bedoya's brilliant ball finding Jordan Verito. His deep run rewarded as he slotted past Asby Yug. The Girodin hit back five minutes later. Gregory Sertic replicating Verito's break. His centre turned in by Kian Hansen. But if that was unfortunate, it was worse for Bordeaux's goalkeeper, Yug. Heading in when it came back off the post, Nantes' first win in Bordeaux for 12 years. Oren went down to 10 within 26 minutes. Bastia took full advantage, although Riyad Budabuz needed something spectacular to beat Benoit Costil. And he duly obliged. A stunning, swerving effort. Leaving the keeper beaten, all ends up. Alphonse Erola was decisive, and that set the Corsicans on the break. Francois Camano driving at the Rennes defence and then slotting it right to Yannick Cahuzac. First ever Ligue 1 goal, victory for Bastia. It rained goals at the Altrad Stadium. Montpellier drew first blood against Lons in the very first minute. Morgan Sanson stabbing in over the line. A good work by Jonas Martin. Sanson then showed tenacity and skill to cross. The ball breaking off Martin and Lucas Barrios scoring. Both Sanson and Barrios now with two in two. Lonsdo didn't lie down. Two minutes later, you have the deficit. Perik Valdevia with his first ever league on goal from distance. And then they were level. 34 minutes gone. Basti Gilam in front of Hilton. The Belgian teenager making it two apiece. Well, into the second half and just past the hour mark, Montpellier forged ahead. Suleiman Kamara's cross finding Anthony Munier. Well, Christmas came early for the winger. But it wasn't to stay cheerful as Lons found a leveller having the last word, Johan Tuzgar, for a 3 3 draw. Well, Diego. Rigonato inspired Rance to victory over Evian. 40 minutes in, he fired in the opener, ending a seven-match goal drought for the Brazilian. But Evian hit back, Daniel Was heading in his eighth of the season. The Dame would then turn provider, swinging in the free kick 
for Cedric Combon to head home. That was as good as it got for the visitors. Reims levelled 78 minutes in. Elisa Mandy heading in. Combon sent off for arguing with the referee. And two minutes after that, they find their winner. Diego once again. But Jesper Hansen should have done better. 3-2 to Reims. Well, Lille were given a boost after their Europa League defeat to Wolfsburg in midweek. 39 seconds. Maxine Spano was sent off. And seven minutes in, Lille took advantage. Gibriel Sidibi getting his first goal of the season. And Ryan Mendes scored the goal of the night. Terrific looping half volley. Making it two. With 12 minutes to go, the game had its third. Divor Origi squaring for Noulon Rouge. Lille's first win after 13 without a win in all competitions. Lorient returned to winning ways against Metz. Jordan Ayew turning in Rafael Guerrero's cross. Then the 20 year old winger hit the net himself. And the ball came to the edge of the box. Fourth goal of the season. And before half time, it was three to Lorient. Benjamin Jono showing great skill and composure. Ayu and Jeno now with six and eight. Hot striking pairing there. Mess did hit back a minute into the second half, but it ended up only a consolation as Lorient continued their upward trajectory while Mess are in free fall. Well, Leon, the week 18 winners, their win on Friday night was in contrast to their rivals Marseille, Paris Saint Germain, Saint Etienne, and Bordeaux, all failing to win on a day where there was two draws and 28 goals. Marseille remained top by a point, clear of PSG, but Lyon now just a further point behind in third. Saint-Étienne and Bordeaux lose ground, but Monaco's win on Sunday night sees them rise to sixth. Bastia off the foot of the table with a first win in five. Caen rock bottom with Lyon sandwiched in between in the relegation zone. Lille climbed to 12th after the first win in nine Ligue 1 matches. Paris Saint-Germain will look to bounce back at the Parc on Saturday's early kickoff with Marseille in action on Sunday against Lille. Last match of Week 19 sees podium hopefuls Bordeaux host in form Lyon. <laughs>